or essentially can be put on the car records, but it is through registers, so it was easy to do and to have some significance and that's why it's not registered.
me personally, um, I don't see how building a really simple empire out of the design. I mean, it's a great design, but I like the way it looks. I just don't think it needs to be a discrete scheme of history. So, I mean, that's why I like to take that one clause. I mean, unless it would be go good, I would go forward with another amendment saying that.
third, the third point here seems to be the cost of education. Thank you. Can you cancel it then? Thank you, Mr. Chair. So I think we're getting to the bottom of this. The issue of kids and students and sports and sports and settings for your speech specifically to your potential son was to speak to the application and question of the child.
I appreciate all these models. Um, let's see, I don't think that we are choosing the sky. Not there today, it's choosing the sky. We have guidelines that are set out in this plan. I, I'm, I'm not choosing the sky. What I'm saying is that I have to tell you for me that it says that the new construction should consider the predominant part of the architectural styles on the street. This plan was supposed to brought forward in 2006. And since 2006, anything that is built in this district falls into these guidelines. So all I'm saying is, if we follow our guidelines and the town's guidelines, well then, we should be looking at it, keeping it within those architectural designs. That's what I'm saying. And as far as the last clause, um, I think it still works. And I mean, if we still want town uh, and the staff to work with the owner, when it comes to the uh, garage and the driveway on the uh, on the side. So I don't see how that would be a problem. Uh, like I said earlier, it does need to see and I mean this could have been done very easily where but before the massive family tiles that put forward you all would have just pretty much put the owner just pretty much come forward and would have done this probably about twenty percent. Perfect. So that's a great segue to have a go on the amendment on the table, which is to delete clause or paragraph number three. All in favor? Opposed? Okay. Yes. Okay. And so the amendment is purchased. Back to the motion. Speaker to the motion. Cass Thompson, Cass Gardner, you need to just watch the page. I just wanted to say that somewhere in the process going forward, uh, the public needs to be aware of what is going to be proposed in this lot. I don't know if it's, that's a sign or if that's a fire that the town sends, but we don't want to have any restrictions on the site. Thank you, Councilor. Thank you, I would agree with Councilor Gardner and say that, you know, I personally know that the problem is 12, that all the consultations would be super important. So, if we do split the motion into two, and our comments for the second portion of it would be to ensure that there's public consultation. Thank you, Councilor Gardner. Any questions? Okay. Is there a request that we go on the agency? Um, here, um, here so why don't we combine the first two, everyone's okay with that approach, and we'll go separate on the last two. Okay, so, already, uh, for the first two paragraphs of the uh, motion files, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. Paragraph number three. Thank you. From medical advice, I have heard that he has said that because we have the motion still on the table, and we've only voted on the first two, we still have an opportunity to put the fourth motions or um, additional motions. So if there is there is any at this point, Council Thompson, Council Thompson, because that was also we voted on each one. We voted on it in separate different classes. So if there are uh, amendments to the motion, Jeff Thompson. And then second of that, to refer the last two classes to be at all. Anyone speaking to the amendment on the floor, which is to bring to, to, to back the last two paragraphs of the Thank you. 
few questions for you. I suppose if you can have a little further on, but you don't have to just have to follow up on it. Do you want to use the first one? Do you want to use the first one? Thank you. Any other comments on the amendments on the floor? Councilor Young. Thank you. I think we have talked about the time right to the identity of the Councilor Perry. I think all the difference between the architecture and the science and the fact that it was, I think, a mistake. Thank you. 
experience with the experience of the last four years of the heritage. Um, part of the heritage process, um, believe it or not, the reason that training meeting for state of usually occurs is under the Heritage Act. As long as the heritage application conforms to the qualifications um, of what they're building the policy, heritage planner, a recent decision, normally this would come from the heritage planning committee, would be able to input. Um, we have a lot of people on that committee which will soon be establishing that input maybe can come to us with further recommendations. But we're going to want to take the seating. So if there's some concerns from the planning perspective, but it's not part of the
Any other comments, questions? Okay, all in favor?
so that they allow them to stick in other places and they become okay. They appreciate the work that's asked and they get them the services that they need to continue what they were doing in the future projects that they cannot wait to get back there and can't be needed. All right, so at this point, we should go along in the post section. A motion to a closed session by an adjournment. Adjournment. Comes Marcus, comes Chelsea, all in favor. And carries. Motion to adjourn. That's very kind of a kid. All in favor. Opposed. Motion carries. Thank you.